Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Plant Cells. Right now, it's only been a few weeks since our last episode, but we're back here again, so that's good news for you, uh, you, you viewers out there. So, our original uh, episode talked about the pre-Old Orchard Football season. This one's going to be recapping it. Um, before we start with any of the Plant Cell stats and uh, season, Florida Evil Clowns, I predicted to uh, miraculously stand out and improve from years past, where they were just abysmal, abysmal team. And they did. They performed so well, they were the second ranked team in the uh, Old Kentucky League. And uh, we'll get to how they fared out later. They had such success this year that they had sponsors barking at them, sponsors that would never have even remotely come close to talking to them before. And one such case, they're now featured in a new song. So why don't we just uh, give it a listen? You listen out for the word evil clowns because it's in there. This used to be a fun house. So that is it right there. Let, that's an improvement right there from years of bottom basement dwellers to being featured in commercial songs. So that's a turnaround for the Florida Evil Clowns. Moving on to the plant cells and how they started, or not started, but how they fared this 2009 season. Let's start week one, shall we? Hundred Acre Woods in, fr uh, in uh, New Jersey. It was 100 Acre Wood coming out victorious, 35-28 overtime win. Black, Sirius Black played uh, played well. Not quite well enough to deliver the W. Two Tall Grizzlies, the one stand out there, 255 yards, three scores. That's a that's a that's a day right there. Moving on, week two, you got the Plant Cells dropped to 0-2 with another loss to the Turkey Turkeys. Big name in this game was supposed to be Turk a new acquired wide receiver. However, it was Turk who was held in check until later in the game where he finally found the end zone. Ended up being the game winner. Uh, Black struggled. He was taken out. Malfoy came in. He performed well. Not well enough, though, completing just 50% of his passes. Woody was held uh, below average, while Too Tall shined again. Two touchdowns, 200 yards. Week three, the Plant Cells found their first W, absolutely destroying the Russian Miracle, who we will find out they play later on uh, in 2009. It's Malfoy shining in this one, four touchdowns, just below 400 yards. All the wide receivers really uh, uh, had good games. It was too tall finding the end zone twice. That set him apart. Week four, Plant Cells unfortunately would not keep up their winning ways, losing to Hogwarts uh, by two touchdowns. It was... Malfoy, who couldn't quite get the job done, three interceptions in this game. Hogwarts defense really showcased what they can do. The Rotter came in, looked well, but that is uh, that's preaching to a level that he really didn't um, aspire to in the entire season. Scissorhands was your uh, your main guy there, while Woody and Edward uh, Tutal were held to just 40 yards. Uh, week five, the Plant Cells did win, and they. Uh, Won by two scores against the Afghanistan terrorists, a team I predicted to do ex extraordinarily well, though they fell to last place. Malfoy completed all but two passes for almost 450 yards with four scores. Tutal has 250 yards, two touchdowns. You saw a lot, that a lot from him early on in the season. However, they would go on to lose their next game, falling to 2-4 and four against the exceptionally turnaround team, I guess we could call them, the Florida Evil Clowns. Evil Clowns put on the 28-14 win. You saw those wins a lot, but I'd take the 28-14 win as a uh, pretty convincing, decisive victory. Malfoy didn't quite live up to it, co completing below 50%. Woody uh, won 100 yards and a score. Your leading receiver in the ball game. The next week, they got absolutely massacred by a team that did not do quite as well as expected. Series of unfortunate events. Plant Cells did not have it. Malfoy didn't have it. 0 for 1 interception taken out. Rotter comes in. Rotter doesn't do well. Uh, Scissorhands is your bright spot, but really no one did anything decent. 
in this massacre game. Week 8, France Cartman came to town, and the Plant Cells beat them 28-21. It was uh, Sirius Black filling in for Malfoy after a slow start, who delivered the, the punch, and it was Woody offensively doing it, leading the entire... Um, team in the entire season, 280 yards, that's the most we saw this season, 45 fantasy points. Week 9, the Plant Cells won again, evening up the series with 100 Acre Wood. They're the team that, that Plant Cells are going to play twice, pretty much every year. Um, we know Morgan Freeman says that uh, it should be a different team, as it's a dead rivalry, but look at what it delivers. It delivers quite drama. But the Plant Cells win it 28-14. Bla Sirius Black plays very well. And pretty much all your wide receivers had uh, very good games. Tutal found the end zone twice, but each re receiver had four receptions. Moving on to week 10, Plant Cells would fall to Andy Griffiths, a team that was a surprise last year and did well this year. Um, let's see, it was Sirius Black played the whole game, not quite as well as he could have. Woody led receiving yards. This was Edward Scissorhands' only fantasy game with below with not double-digit fantasy points. He only had one reception, 15 yards. And again, Tutal finds the end zone two times. That's why he led this team big time in touchdowns. Week 11, the Vermont Tigers took on the Plant Cells. The Plant Cells walked out victorious in overtime to a Vermont Tigers team that did not finish above 500 or 500 or above. So they are no longer the Vermont Tigers. They will be moving to an area called Palm Beach, and they will become the Palm Beach Dwellers for the, f the next Old Orchard football season. I'm looking forward to that. Sirius Black taken out early after one interception. Rodder didn't quite do it, but Malfoy did. Malfoy stepped in in a big, big way. 470 yards, four touchdowns. That's 50 fantasy points. He was the one who got the job done, finding too tall in the end zone for four touchdowns. That's a tandem right there, and that's what won them the ball game. The final week, it was a must-win for the Plant Cells against the Vancouver Poop, a team that uh, was expected to do very poorly, but in fact was quite the opposite, finishing in uh, third place. Plant Cells, however, had their number in this one, 28-21. It was Malfoy keeping that starting job and keeping it well for touchdowns. Uh, just below four, four, 440 yards. <sighs> Woody and Edward were the lead receivers. Edward just a notch ahead with another touchdown. So, the Plant Cells made the playoffs with the final spot in the sixth seed. That means they would take on the third seed, which just happened to be Vancouver Poop. So they stayed in Vancouver for this one. That's a lot of things people don't really understand. They didn't have to leave. They kept practicing there. They just waited another week for it to playoffs to come around. And now let's get the playoff graphic up there and see just how these playoffs went. All right, round one. Plant Cells Poop. It's the Plant Cells having the number again, defeating the Poop with the identical store, score of 28-21. In the 4-5 matchup, the Turkey Turkeys beat the Hogwarts t Wizards, a team that was expected to... Uh, to win the ball game, and Turk and his turkeys were the fan favorite for the championship. Round two, the Florida Evil Clowns coming in high, and with momentum as an uh, underdog team, got shellacked by the Plant Cells. Plant Cells knocked them out quickly, defeating them 28-7. to In the other matchup, the number one seeded Russia Miracle team <laughs> defeated the Turkey Turkeys in overtime, a tough loss for Turk and the squad. And the Miracle faced off against the last ranked Plant Cells. You had a first and last uh, place championship here. But it was the Miracle, the Russia Miracle, led by Otto Rocket at quarterback, who came out victorious 28-21 on a final second touchdown, giving, making themselves the 2009 Old Orchard Football Championship. Let's look at some of these um, stats on the playoffs. Malfoy looked good in the playoffs over a thousand yards with nine touchdowns and really limited his amount of interceptions a number that was astronomically high in the season 